Ah. Alright, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. I'm from a graduation party. Like as you can see, I'm dressed. And yeah, like I'm literally tired. Like, super tired. So, I'll catch you guys tomorrow morning. Good afternoon, guys. Uh, I'm so tired. Like, what the hell was I doing yesterday? <laughs> Are you ready to drink it? Oh yeah, it makes sense. You know, as you grow older, you know, the, the hangovers just get worse and worse and worse. But luckily for me, I have no hangover. But I feel extremely tired. And literally, I did not film or Psycho. edit any video. And yeah, let's start the video off right now. Alright guys, so do you guys, I'm sure you guys have heard of Andrew Tate, right? Like that guy has been blowing up on social media like he's literally every way and he says something very profound um like i found a, a video of him and it really got me thinking he said that most men right young men rather they are literally invisible in today's world in t today's society because of their social status right like if you want to be valued as a man like as a guy in today's social status like you need to have a lot of key things like you need to have a house a car you know you need to be complete at a such a young age which is actually ludicrous so basically if you like someone in your 20s mid 20s or to your late 20s right and you don't have those kind of things that i mentioned maybe like if you're in your young 20s you might be excused but if you're in your like late 20s and you don't have like a house a car or like you don't you don't have like an apartment and stuff like that like a lot of women will see you as a failure and like this guy's not serious i got i got such serious and worst part, if you're earning a stipend, guys, like it's it's like literally is worse. People, uh, the girls especially, they will ridic ridicule you <laughs> for like earning a stipend and being like literally a low valued man. They'll see you as like a low valued man. And guys, if you th if you think I'm lying, right? Look at Instagram. Look at the guys that have like a hundred thousand plus followers. What do they have? They flex money, they flex their car, their Ferraris, you know, certain, they have, a lot, they have a, lot, a lot of material things, right? And that's why they have so many followers. Like for a girl to attain that, um, like, that amount of followers, you don't need to do much, right? Obviously, you need to have like, you know, like consistency of you posting on Instagram and stuff like that. But it, once you have a great body, like you can literally get gang followers. But as a guy, like it's crazy, like... You need to have so many things like you need to be so complete you must even have like the perfect body like you, you need to make sure that you work out you need to make sure that you know you're just like this perfect guy for the society but for what so the take home message here guys is like as a guy right don't let material things like define who you are right so just because you don't have that car yet or just because you haven't moved out yet don't see yourself as a failure right see this as you know what I, I like i need to improve like material things come and go right and it's very hard in today's society for a guy to be like of high value without material things because now that's what we judge of, uh, based upon right and it's also not easy for girls right because they also go through a lot like if you're not if you don't have the perfect body or whatever you then you're not classified as, as sexy or sexy and man this society is crazy guys and yeah that's the take home message that i wanted to share with you guys all right guys so if you made it this far in the video i just want to ask you guys one question of how do you feel about andrew tate like the messages the messages that he's trying to spread oh guys i don't know what's wrong with that speech the messages that he's trying to like spread like on social media as a guy or a girl like how do you feel about andrew tate like uh, some of the things that he's telling like the, the truth or is this guy just insane he's psycho i don't know like for me he he has like some level of truth yes sometimes it puts like girls on blast and stuff like that but women rather on blast but this guy holds like a strong message like especially for young men who are coming up right because now like everything has been so diluted there's so many so everyone is so 
opinionated and yeah like how do you guys feel about him i don't know i i think he is the top three like honestly yes yeah, some of the things he says are crazy but there's some level of truth to it and yeah there's some few points that you can take as a guy you know from him but i don't know i don't know what you guys thought it, uh, are and i don't know if you guys want to see an in-depth video of like me like breaking down how Andrew Tate actually became so successful like on social media and how he blew up Psycho. and it's one technique that i'm actually gonna try like the techniques that he used because this guy was literally on everyone's feed like every single like i saw Andrew Tate more than i saw my mom it's crazy so yeah i don't know also do you guys want to see a video of like a documentary style video of where i research and break down on the steps that Andrew T Tate used to blow up on everyone's social media feed anyway guys i'm wrapping up the video right here i hope you guys enjoyed this week's upload i know it was not so in depth but yeah if you did please give it a thumbs up it helps the channel grow so much and if you're new here welcome why don't you click subscribe turn on the notification bell because i do drop a new youtube video literally every single sunday and you don't want to miss it i'll catch all of y'all in the next upload peace